Plot Who The War Games Episode 6 Syriat Landing Bay Zoe Oh Jamie Doctor We got to get got to help them. Doctor, no, there's nothing we can do, Carl says. You must get away from here. Sorry, but we can't, Jamie. We can't, Carl says. You want us all to get killed? Go on. The guards drag their victims away. Central area, Zoe. Oh, Doctor, what about Jamie? Have they killed him? Doctor, I don't know. Carl says, let us go this way. Doctor, no, this way. To the processing room. Carl says, why do, why do you want to go to the processing room? Doctor, don't ask questions, just follow me. Zoe, oh. Security section, security chief, I believe that amongst this resistance group, attack the base are people who have arrived on this planet without being brought here by us. Scientists, that's impossible. So security chief, is it? What about this, what about the girl Zoe and this man, the doctor she spoke of? She said he had a space-time travel machine. Scientist, yes, I know, but security chief, have we taken humans from later than the Earth year 1917? Scientists, of course not. Greater technological knowledge would be dangerous. Security chief, yet this man who tricked you had significant technological knowledge to understand the mental processing from machinery. Scientist, yes, that's true. But how could these people get here? Security chief, the war chief, these people have the secret of time travel. Scientist, you suggesting he's bringing in his own people, the Time Lords? Security Chief, he came to us because he wanted power. Perhaps there are others of, of his people who feel the same. Scientist, can he prove this? If so, you must tell the War Lord immediately. Security Chief, unfortunately, I have no proof. You must help me find proof. I insist it's a matter of security. Scientist, all right. What do you want me to do? Security chief, these are resistance people. Before you process, reprocess them, study them carefully. If you find anything unusual, send a prisoner concerned to me for questioning. Central area, these guards, there are guards near the processing room. Doctor, we've got to get in there. Car says, why? Doctor, now that room. The other side, there must, must have been the next door. Yes, come on, Car says. What's... Now what's he up to? Sorry, I have no idea, but I think we'd better cut follow. Come on. Clothing store. The doctors, I mean, Carstairs, pushed their way through the hanging ranks. A great coax to wall with joining the processing room. Doctor, some sort of perf... 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 perfumed... formed... preformed with plastic. When you say, Zoe? Zoe, yes, but why are you so interested in it, Doctor? Dot a little bits of metal embedded in it. Y- yes, I think these panels must be held together by some kind of magnetic force field. Now, if I could reverse that field, cut me off some pieces of tape, will you please, Zoe? Say, so, oh yes, Doctor, that's right. One there, that's right. And one just there. The Doctor takes pieces of wire over the curves in the plastic panel. Processing room. Jamie, Russell and the other soldiers line a heat in the corner. Where the scientist uses his helmet device to view other men's brain. Men's brain. Scientists, all right, take him away. Choving area. Carl says, Doctor, what on earth are you doing, Doctor? Well, it's no secret, boy. Simply a case of reversing the magnetic field of this panel. Sorry, Doctor, why don't you use your sonic screwdriver as a power source? Doctor, what a good idea, yes. Sorry. There's just one thing, though. Doctor, yes. Sorry, these panels are interlinked. Doctor, yes, well. Sorry, well, if you take one away, that what, what's to stop all the rest? Down like a... To stop all the rest down like a pack of cards. Doctor, well, we just have to take the risk, won't we? Now then, stand well clear. The doctor attaches a scratch screwdriver to the end of a final long wire, thinking or linking all the rest of... A panel glows briefly. Carl says, nothing happened. Dodd watches the doctor, gently removes the panel and sets it down. So, there's a look, so they look through a gap over the top. Jamie's being placed on the examination table. Zoe, it's Jamie's alive. Dodd, I hope he might be. So, Zoe, but how? They shot him down. Dodd, well, the guns they use can be adjusted. I think he was just stunned. 
processing room. The scientist takes stairs in Jamie's brain, sees a regular pattern of oblongs instead of swirly brain-like ones. The scientist is right, takes his prisoner to the for questioning. To curving thought, sorry, Doctor, why do you think they're taking him away? Doctor, I think he's possibly discovered he was never processed. Carl says, we better get him out of there then. Doctor, no, wait. Processing room, more chief. Have you started reprocessing yet? Scientist, no. Just carrying out the preliminary examinations. War chief, why? Why not just reprocess them? Scientist, though, get... Oh, well, these people have shown considerable courage in this enterprise. They may make future leaders, war chief. Where is the prisoner being taken? Scientist, oh, the security, oh, the security chief, he wants to question one of them for process, reprocessing. War chief, really? Why this one in particular? Scientist, well, he just seemed to be the most suitable. War chief, for what reason? For what reason? Scientist, his brain patterns are different. War chief, different how? Scientist, well, he appears not to have been reprocessed before. War chief, really? How interesting. All right, carry on. The guards carry Jamie away. War chief, but in future, inform me of such unusual developments. War chief leaves. The scientist, prepare the reprocessing machine. We shall begin with this one. Clothing room. Sorry, old doctor, we're too late. Where have they taken him, doctor? I don't know. But don't worry, at least we know he's alive. Now then, we've got to get those in there, lieutenant. Car says, right, sir. Processing room. While the scientist adjusts his brain washing machine, Carl says goes for the hole in the wall and grabs the scientist's assistant. assistant. He bundles him unceremoniously back into the clothing room next door. Toto, I think you'll find that bit goes there. Scientist, oh, thank you. Barn, Von Velch, how long do you intend to keep me here more? Until you, they come back. Von Velch has supported, supposing they don't come back. Von Velch stands. Von Welch, I, li- I like some water more. All right, sit down. Trying to keep his rifle aimed at Von Welch all the time. More slides towards the canteen. As soon as he takes a look away, Von Welch tries to go for the communication device. More, stop. Try that again, I'll kill you. Section, security section, security chief. But who sent you here? Jamie, nobody sent us. I came with the doctor. Security chief? Why did he decide to come to this planet? Security, Jamie, he didn't. It was an accident. Security chief, it's an accident. It's plain. Jamie, it's the TARDIS, you see. He can't control it. He's just arrived here. Security chief, was the doctor summoned here by one of us? Jamie, no. We just arrived. The war chief, a guard, enter. War chief, don't let me interrupt you. Security chief, the questioning is over. War chief, what have you learnt? Security chief, nothing of importance. War chief, really? Will you, you be questioning the others, security chief? They're all, are they all from the same resistance group? They'll tell the same story, war chief. This one is different, surely. Security chief, why should he be? War chief, this one has been processed before, has he? Security chief, it's possible. War chief, in fact, in fact, why was I not informed? It's a fact. Why was I not informed? Security chief, this is a matter of security. Security is my responsibility, as you often remind me. War chief, your first responsibility is to me. Security chief, no. My first responsibility is to the warlord, my people. War chief, you don't trust me. But if you question my loyalty, tell the warlord. But I warn you, be absolutely sure of your suspicions, because you accuse me without positive proof. I shall crush you. Processing room. The doctor is using the Spanish assaults of Russell. While Carl says, reloads his revolver. Carl says, can't you hurry up, Russell? What happened? Where am I? Doctor, it's all right. You're quite safe, Russell. Who are you? Doctor, we're your friends, Carl says. You have to hurry up, Doctor. Russell, Doctor, you must be the one that Jamie was talking about. Where is he? Doctor, well, I'm afraid they're taking him away. Now, up you get, Carl says, Doctor, wasting time, a guard passes, comes past the open door, the central area, and Carl says, shoots him. Carl says, come on, Doctor, you must get out of here. Doctor, quickly for the gap in the wall. Here, Zoe, help him. Zoe, yes, the Doctor tries to take the rainwash machine off its stand. Carl says, come on, Doctor. Doctor, I'll be in a minute. The alarm sounds. Carl says, shoots at another guard outside. Carl says, come on, Doctor. Doctor, just a minute. Carl says, no, no, now. No, 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 now, or we'll be caught. Come on. Carl says, 
The doctor abandons the machine. Clothing area. Clothing store. Car says the doctor. And the doctor replaced the wall panel. Russell, what is this place, doctor? This is the headquarters of people running the this whole disgraceful business. Russell, just people. Just the people I want to get my hands on. Doctor, yes. It's not quite as simple as that. There are rather a lot of them. Russell, I don't care how many of them there are. Doctor, they have rather sophisticated weapons. You wouldn't stand a chance. Russell, so, so what do we do now, Russell, Doctor? We're going to return it to the, we're going to return it to the times, we're going to return to the time zones and organize the resistance into one big army. Russell, if we can't find them, if you can find them, they're spread all over the place. I've been trying to link them up myself. It's finding them. You don't know who you can trust. Doctor, oh yes, we do know. My friend Zoe's memorized the entire list of resistance and their whereabouts. Zoe, I now, yes, I memorized the fouls with the security room. Doctor, now I must, now I must get back, get you back, all back to the landing party. Curses, those, those guards will be all over the place. Doctor, yes, what we need is some kind of desire, guys. Von Von Welch, to British private, aren't you? 19th century, more. You can see that, can't you? Well, Welch. Oh, would you mind reaching my monocle for me? It's in my pocket there. Thank you. Well, now sit down. Welch, don't, now don't you talk to me like that. I'm a British officer. Well, no, you're not your prisoner. Well, Welch, I'm not your prisoner more. I'm your commanding officer. Do you understand? More, I'm not. I'm not in the army. The, res- the resistance I'm in. Von Welch, you're in the British Army, Private Moore. The year is 1871. You're in the British Army, and I'm your commanding officer. Now, untie me. Central area, security chief to war chief. They're in, they're in, they are here, trapped to guard right in. Processing room, security chief. They've been seen here by my men. War chief, where are they now? Vanished into thin air? Security chief, there's only one way they could have escaped. By use of a space time machine. War chief goes across the far wall and pushes at several panels. War chief, I'm sorry to crush your royal theories. He pushes the loose panel. War chief, there's an edge of a space time machine. War chief, after them. Security chief, after them. War chief, you're too late for that. They'll be on their way to the landing bay you know, right now. I should, uh, could imagine. I should imagine, try and get there before them. Security section. Jamie waits to see a figure in grey coat and gas mask. Jamie, uh? Doctor, ah, uh, it's all right, Jamie, it's me, Doctor. Jamie, ah. Uh. Doctor, all right, put on this grey coat. Jamie, where is Zoe? What's happened? Doctor, she's waiting outside now, come along. Central area, Doctor. Falling twos, come along, hurry up. There's no time to be lost, Zoe. Jamie, to Zoe. Doctor, are you ready? Right, quick march. Chariot, landing bay. Two soldiers grab the technician and drag him away, Zoe. Are you sure you can work these controls, Doctor? Doctor, yes, I think so, Zoe. Now let me see, Zoe. There are more guards. Doctor, oh my goodness. Doctor moves some control rods and sets up a protective force field. Doctor, there. That should stop him. Russell and Costas deal with the two they, they got through. Help it from Jamie. Doctor, Jamie. All right, now. I, I, I preset it. For the 1970 zone, and off we go, Doctor. Sorry, Doctor. How do you, how, how did you do it so easily, Doctor? It's not very difficult, Zoe, but the door, now the doors, as, as it open. Doctor, come along. Don't be afraid. You've gone before. Cos says, after you, Doctor. No, no, I shall follow in a few minutes. Zoe, you mean you're staying here? Doctor, no, it's just getting the processing machine. Jamie, oh, if you're staying, I better stay too, Carl says. You can't me then, Doctor. Doctor, oh, very well. Go on, Zoe. Off you go. We'll follow in a few minutes. Good luck. Russell, Zoe, Russell, and the Doctor's going to see it, and the Doctor neurotizes it, demineralizes it remotely. Carl says, what are, you, what are you doing? What are you going to do about those guards, Doctor? Doctor, we're running, we're going to let them in. The bay's run into an empty bay, then out again. Barn, one Velt, you understand now, Vol? I'm your commanding officer, Mor. You are in my commanding officer, yes, sir, Van Velt. Good, good. Now, Mor, give me your gun. As Mor is about to hand over the syret, civilizes as Russell steps in. One Velt, sh- Mor, shoot them. That's an order, Russell. Back in your, there, quick, Mor. Mor, it's me, Russell. Von Velt, private Mor, shoot him. 
Russell, don't take any notice of him more. You're one of us, a resistance member. Remember? More resistance? No, in the army. One, two, three, mile. Private Moore, one vote, shoot him. We have still reaches out. Rams Moore's barrel, his barrel, disarms him. The two men struggle. Moore gets Russell's service with Rover. Rover from his holster. Russell forces him to drop it. He continues fighting till Moore is knocked out. One vote, stay. One vote, stay. He's by the revolver. Picks up the revolver. Oh, well, you come one step nearer, you'll die. Good. Now you're both coming back with me. Get inside the machine. Russell, no. You have to shoot me first, Von Welch. Very well. If you prefer to die, that's your affair. Gunshot, Von Welch. Falls to the ground with a bullet from Moore's rifle inside him. Moore, I had to shoot him, didn't I? Russell, thank goodness you did, lad. Moore, I'm not sure what happened. Russell, you just saved our lives. That's what happened. Security section. While well, Jamie helps the doctor get the brainwash machine, for war chief, so you've lost them. They've got, they've, they're here. They've got away, security chief. One of them knew how to operate our space time machines. War chief, are you blaming me for that? Security chief, you knew they had, they, what, they would head for landing bay. You knew one of them would operate on machines. Was he, of course? And it's after all how they got here. Logic seems to be your sweet point. Do something about this resistance group before the warlord arrives. Well, security chief, whatever they are, wherever they are, I shall find them. Processing room. Jamie, this is all right, doctor. Jamie holds out a cap stack. Doctor, yes, Jamie, that's splendid. Put it, put it in. Doctor puts the machine into it. Doctor, there we are. That's right. Come on, off we go. Just a minute, hold that. Doctor hands a sack to Jamie. Jamie, now what? Car says, what are those, Doctor? Doctor, they're the gas filled valves. Come on. They run out to the room, room and the scientist, the scientist sinks in. Sherry, wearing the gas mask, the doctor throws one of the gas field valves in the loading bay floor. The technician and guards collapse, and the doctor manipulates the controls to open a syriac. They rush in, and it dematerializes. Jamie, did we get away? Did we get away all right? Doctor, yes, I hope so. Jamie, here we go. There we go. A sound suddenly stops, doctor, but they must have stopped it from the outside. Jamie, well... Can they get that, get in the doors? Todd, not now. I set the middle energy lock. Jamie, well, we shall get away. We will get away, you're right. Todd, yes, we, yes, it's only a question of overriding the master control. Now, it's a significantly different design to the TARDIS. Security chief, open the doors and surrender. We, you're trapped. You're trapped. Syria at landing bay. Security chief, there is no chance of escape surrender. We shall spare your lives. Sirat Carr says, what are you going to do, Doctor? Doctor, don't worry, those things are impregnable. Almost against outside attack. Jamie, you mean like the TARDIS? Security chief, this is your last chance to surrender now. Sirat, moving in any way. War chief, how do you pro- propose to get them out? Well, security chief, we won't well, wait. They'll come out. War Chief, no, you, you won't wait. We'll force them out. Security Chief, what do you tend to do? War Chief, to activate the dimensional control. Sir, Jamie, are we going to be all right, Doctor? Doctor, very nicely, Jamie. Now, don't worry. Nothing can happen to us in here. Curtis, am I seeing anything? The walls, look. The walls are getting closer. Jamie, the ceiling too. Doctor, oh, what have they done? The ceiling drops, forcing the Doctor, Dars, Carses, and Jamie... To their knees. Syria will end in Bay War Chief. You must surrender, Doctor, or you'll be crushed to death. You have thirty seconds to decide, Syria. War Chief. OC. Thirty seconds.